I got some decent feedback on the last couple videos I posted with the B5S4s, so I guess I'm going to keep posting them, and then as well as other videos, obviously, at some point. So this is the silver card that I was trying to get the KO4s to pop, which they definitely did. Um, so I got the motor out of this car, as you can see, and it's just hanging out. I don't have time to work on it right now. But the KO4s are going on another motor, which is going in another car that I bought. And uh, I'll show you that here in a second, but that's that's the silver car. It's just hanging out. But this is the other motor that I'm working on to throw in this other car. It's a Santorin car, the darker blue. But uh, I got this motor all freshened up, did the timing, powder coated the valve covers, intake manifold. And these valve covers are the BEL ones, so they you don't have to use adapter packs for the coil packs. You still got to use the harness, but kind of cleans it up, makes it look a little bit better. But these are the turbos that came off of the motor in the silver car. So they're rebuilt with Mellet CHRAs, which seem to be pretty proven now. They're pretty cost efficient and a lot of people have given good feedback with them. So that's what, what we're putting these turbos and they're gonna go in this car that I'm gonna sell. So this motor's looking, looking pretty good. I gotta put the clutch on it. I've got some 750 Bosch injectors that are going to go on it, as well as whoops, some inlets that I'm going to throw on it in this video. And uh, yeah, so it's pretty much wrapped up. I'm going to put some down pipes that I build, as well as the bi pipe and Y pipe. They're going to go on this motor for when I sell the car. This is the motor that came out of the silver car. Looks like a disaster right now, but this will get the single turbo. This has two eight heads, and I'm gonna put rods in it. Other than that, it's just gonna gonna stay the same. So that's that. Get this injector here. Throttle body. Pretty much like that. So I'll get the mounting tabs and it'll sit in place, but just use some silicone hose with some clamps to adapt the PCV valve. Bigger, bigger inlet for lobster claw hoses. And that's, uh, that's that motor. So I'll throw those parts on here. We got our four bolts here. One, two, three, and four. Let's make sure that all these are 
where I want them, which obviously they're not going to be fixed so they can still move, but just to kind of make sure they're not going to hit on anything. Get, all, get the fuel rail tightened back down. And there we are. So the fuel rail is back on with the new injectors. We got our vacuum lines here that go to the lower inlets, which I just put those on just for, just to make sure they don't get lost and whatnot laying around. So I just put those on for now. I still got to do the waste gates, which are behind. So those are, these will come back off, but they're super easy to pull on and off with the motor out. So just a couple bolts. Um, other, got both of those on each side. And then I got the, the inlet to the cold side. I mean the, the outlet that goes to the to the intercooler. So those are all snugged up with the bolts on the bottom. And that's pretty much pretty much it for this motor right now. It's coming along. Coming along pretty nice. About ready to get it get it finished up and thrown in that car. So the other project that got going in the shop right now is this wide body sedan, which it's got a fully built motor it's got two eight heads built bottom end it had rs6 turbos on it before i believe this is a customer's car so i don't have all the all the know abouts but it's a built motor it's got oem quarter panels and we're going to be doing a single turbo on it it's a pretty sweet car it's black underneath so that's the black roof and it's got a a blue wrap on it right now. And a nice carbon wheel on there. Wide fenders. And this is a turbo we're going to be putting on it. A Jeep here. So we got a Precision 6466. The uh, Gen 2 ball bearing. Uh, we got a, a twin scroll, so the manifold I'm gonna build is gonna be all equal up to both sides, it'll be divided. And then paired with that, we got two tile 44 millimeter waste gates. So those will be not placed where most people place the waste gates on these cars. For the single turbo conversion, they'll be placed down behind the two eight headers so for space and they're gonna work better so that's the that's the deal with the turbos on that but it'll be a sweet car once it's all finished up he actually drives his car hard so like most people have their their garage queens that they don't drive but I'm sure he's gonna gonna get on this one and beat on it so That'll be a fun project, and this is what the manifold will be built out of his two inch schedule in piping. It's got these nice 90s, which obviously I gotta be cut and whatnot. But this will be one of the first cars to run the manifold, and then I'll make fixtures for it, and people can start buying them. So that's that. That's about gonna wrap it up for this video but I'm gonna do a build series on this one probably knock it out pretty quick so we'll have the up pipe we'll do down pipe wastegate dumps intercooler piping and obviously a couple other small bits and pieces for the single turbo conversion but that'll pretty much wrap it up go ahead and subscribe and keep an eye out for more videos follow on Instagram if you want I'll link those in the description and uh, thanks for watching.